Shalom, 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 shalom. shalom. We are the Akiyam out here in uh, downtown El Paso uh, doing our midweek camp out here to testify this truth, okay, to the hopeful elect uh, of Yasharala, Israel, our so called blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos, and also let Esau, the Edomite, the so called white man, these Amalekites, these Kites, these Jewish conglomerate know that your end is near. In fact, right now, we are seeing blood right now in Great Babylon, America. So the Lord is preparing that great destruction that he has promised to bring you to your dug on crackers you damn devil before we get started let's turn to these and give all glory and honor to yahweh yahweh double honors to teach us others and apostles of great millstone and also to you brothers who did that's footnote this truth faithfully fearlessly feeding the sheep and to you brothers and sisters tuning in shalom oh. so we've got this idomians that are saying that great babylon america cannot be cannot be uh, taken down okay and that is further from the truth Let's bring out what the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Ashai, said about this place. This is the book of Jeremiah 51 8, and it says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain, if so she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she's not healed. Forsake her and let us all go, everyone, into his own country, for her judgment reach it unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies, okay? We're looking right here, right now. Well documented, the history of this wicked ass man, okay, the so-called white man. That's right. Come on here, your come on here, your destruction. Oh, across the street there. Right. Okay, because this is the end of days right now for you dog on so-called white people. The so-called white man is gonna go into a thousand years of hardcore slavery. So all you dog on Hispanics, Native Americans, Latinos, okay, um, so-called blacks out here that are looking at these people like this something, they're absolutely nothing. These are doggone created slaves, okay? Less than, less than that. Okay? Less than that. Less than spit and shit, okay? And so there's been, there's been a historical, uh, well-documented of the wickedness of this doggone man, okay? From sodomy, from, from committing sodomy against the tribe of Israel, the rape, kidnap, and murder, the Lord God of the Bible, uh, Yahweh Bashim Ashai, has great judgment that's coming for this place, okay? Going on. Uh, this is our uh, Revelation chapter 18, verse 2. Start at verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And that's how it shot. We're sitting again in the tin shot. You know, he's, you know, lighting, you know, uh, lighting the glory uh, within wisdom. Okay? Like it says in Ecclesiastes, wisdom it shall cause a man's face to shine. Man. Okay? This is Revelation 18 and 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying babylon the great is fallen is fallen and he's become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird all right all right going to these uh dragons in the wilderness these desert creatures all right are compassion about all right and these uh foul the the, the, the fowls in the air including you know the eagles and, and vultures and so forth man that's why in book of revelation in that scripture now uh, revelation the 17th chapter i believe we're going to how uh, the great supper shall be prepared uh, 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 of the carcasses uh, of the wicked that will be slain in this last war, harm of God one, okay, uh, to these uh, these same uh, followers of the air, man, okay? Because well, why? This, this, this precept is going into how America will inevitably be destroyed, okay, and sorely, man, left neither root nor branch to where the only bi biological organisms that will be left here, okay? And America, Babylon the Great, will be these uh, dragons of the wilderness, these desert creatures, and these fowls of the air, man, these birds and so forth, man. And that's how much why, because what it says here, Revelation 18 and 5, for her sins have reached into heaven, and the most high God, Yahweh, has remembered her iniquities. See? And everything that's what's displayed up here, man. Especially this, this uh, 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 this rainbow madness here. Yep, that'll be GTQ. Okay. Huh. <laughs> All of that stuff right there, okay? This, this this man right now, how people marrying dogs, cats, objects, okay? There is nothing that the dog on so-called wicked ass, dog on parasitic, piece of shit, diseased white man wouldn't do here in Great Babylon, America and across the earth. He spread that filled across the earth. Yes, we're speaking against all you, okay? Because y'all ain't, ain't crap, right. okay? The end of days is near for y'all right now, so we're, let, we're all here on the highway and the byway to let you dog on Edomites know, okay, that you're going to be destroyed. Okay, and so that this Idumian who came on said that Great Babylon is not going to be destroyed. Well, let's go into Revelations 14 and so verse 8, and it says, And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, That's right? It's fallen, that great city, America, because she had made all nations drink of the wine and the wrath of her fornication, all of her dog on faggotness, sodomy, wickedness, kidnapping. Okay bestiality okay man on man women on women 
you soft, dog on like soft like cat puke, men, letting your women walk over you. Okay? All of these are the dangerous things and all these are things that are part of this system right here. Okay? Feminized men, okay? Get I mean, pretty much almost like they got a vagina between their doggone legs and it's still going to clean them, man. It's so soft. It, it, it makes you sick. Okay, when you stand up and you have to see this type of doggone crap in, the front, in front of your eyes, he says. But the Lord is going to get that, get that power to this man to rain justice and, and, and judgment on these doggone wicked people. So right now, walk in great pride. Okay? So the angel just gave that warning that this place is going to be destroyed. Lord, uh, God, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. And it reads, But the day of the Lord, Hamashiach and Haushai, will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nuclear fire. Con, and, and everything is composed of elements, including human flesh. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So this further goes into how there's going to be a great destruction that will take place in earth. And, and what more so, uh, 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 and, and, and what, what, uh, what, what other... Uh, 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 and what more so America, man? The most wicked empire on this earth, man. Yep. Okay, promotes all manners of perverseness and, and uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? And uh, 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 decadence, man. Uh, degen degeneracy, you see? Like a man acting like a woman and vice versa. You know, yep. sterilizing, uh, uh, you know, sterilizing you know, women that were born females to be men. Okay, pushing for uh, young uh, males to cut off their rod and stones, man, which is an abomination. Okay, pursuing uh, the book of Deuteronomy, I believe it's the 25th chapter, man. Yeah. Or the 23rd chapter, rather. Okay, so they push, hey, that's why this place has an expiration date on it, like it says in Job uh, 18 and 7, man, in Revelation 12 and 12, or Job 18 and 7, rather, man. Okay, so this place will be destroyed, and there's nothing, and, and, and as opposed to what this Edomite had recently said about how, well, America is never going to go down, well, rather, uh, no, no, no one, nothing can stop the downfall of America, Babylon the Great, because the Heavenly Father right. has sanctioned it, man. Okay, this, see? And that's the thing right there. See, it's already been written, okay? You, you dug on, you, you so-called Caucasians, you dug on Idomians, you, you so-called weak folks. You're about to get a rude awakening this year, as a lot of you are laid off, okay? Of Turn that shit off. Stop blowing that dug on horn, dude. Fuck, See, that's what I'm talking about right there. See, this, these, 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 that's, that's what I'm talking about right there. See, short... Anyways, let me, let me move, let me keep it up right there. So, off, <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead, go ahead. Second Peter 3 and 10. For the day of the Lord, my Shaggy Hashai will come as a thief in the night, and in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. What are the works of America? What you see uh, displayed up here? That's right. There's madness up here. The no, sodomy, uh, 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 LGBTQA, elemental P madness. Okay? All right, this damn faggot right here. Celebrity, Lil Nas X. Are promoting Jake B. Uh, uh, faggots, all right? Uh, 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 the violation of uh, the dietary laws here uh, through swine. Yep. But Jake can leave that goddamn if You're a so called alone. Latino, black, or Native American. Stop eating pork. Stop eating doggone pork. Stop eating doggone shellfish. The Lord is going to start judging you all with those doggone diseases and illnesses. That's why you're that big fat bellies and you're so doggone weak. Right. I don't even say you've been been a pro. I even, even look at these doggone, doggone, these soft, soft pot belly men, man. Okay? They, they're not going to be able to protect you in the day of, uh, uh, Jake, of Jacob's trouble. Okay? They're going to be crying like little doggone girls, because that's what they are, like little girls. Okay? With little nuts. Okay? Well, speaking of uh, dietary laws, this, uh, there's one, this uh, popular uh, social media uh, uh, personality, or I think it was a TikToker, he ended up uh, kicking a bucket at only 33 years old. He, I think he, uh, um, he's, he's an Edomite, looks like. And uh, this guy ended up kicking a bucket. Um, Cause he he was uh, his platform was used uh, to generate an uh, audience to watch him eat. This is pretty much what his job was. All he would do was just eat on camera, and he was eating a bunch. He was eating. Uh, he was he drinking uh, pork juice one time. You know what I'm saying? He and he was he was laughing while he was doing it like it was funny. But now uh, he he can no longer laugh because he's in the spiritual realm. Okay, because he took his life for granted. Nice, gone. All right. You know. So a lot of you Jakes out there trying to make you make your money off doing your stupidness. You know on on YouTube. You know, going let, oh, what they have? They have, they have these, these clowns going in the hood and pick a fight with a with a thug or something like that or whatever cases like that. You're gonna get put to death live on YouTube, okay? You're gonna get put to death live on YouTube because you guys, you're so sordish, okay? This is the book of Jeremiah 51, starting with verse 25, and it says, "Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain," said the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai, which destroyed all the earth. Who is he talking about? 
You saw what Great Bible on America, right. the United States. Right. This proud, wicked, vile nation. Right. Your people have a limited time. Enjoy yourselves right now while you can. Right. And I'm talking particularly to you doggone Edomites, you so-called white people, all right? You doggone so-called blacks, Native American, Latinos, y'all better get your crap together. Get your ass up here and come hear this word, okay? This is gonna save your life, and it says, which destroys all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. So the Lord is going to judge this place with turmoil, nuclear, fire. But before that, he's getting those four judge, those four sword judgment. Pestilence. We see that pestilence going right now. Hey, Bill, Bill Gates and um, whoever else is doggone mixing that juice. Y'all need to make it y'all need to make it stronger. Okay? Make that make that mix a lot stronger. Y'all have not Y'all have not destroyed enough people with that, with that first mixture, so y'all need to make that batch, the next batch, a little bit stronger to get used to these so going useless eaters, because most of you people walking around are absolutely useless. You're a waste of cum. That's right. Okay? Your father should have actually put it on the ground instead of your, instead of your mom warm. Well, that's what okay? I got, uh, uh, you know, like uh, this nigga Willie D likes to say, you know, this nigga Willie D on YouTube is saying, your, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. She should have, he should have thought it through before he left it in. Not to get you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's true. You know, cause yeah, 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 like your brother said, man, you're a waste of fucking nut, you waste of fucking cup, man. You, you, you know, wow. you're, you're, you, you, you serve no purpose except for to be on the left hand side, you know, in the spiritual warfare, okay? But even you're not even really good at that. Yeah. You're, you're just, you're just like ants. You know, you're, you're just like you know ants on the ground, man. Hey, this pigeon walking right here who came up to hear the word have more purpose than you damn people. Right. So that passion is going to be going around here and and. and uh, yeah, that, that juice is that juice is gonna be working on a lot of y'all. You got the, the beast of the field. You guess who y'all competing against for food? But you think but you think these animals gonna allow you gonna just allow you to just take their crap? No man, they can fight back too. Okay? So they're gonna become they're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna, the, the Lord is gonna send those beasts to judge your ass who snakes crawl up in your house, okay, centipedes, scorpions, okay, coyotes now grabbing these doggone little dog on these little kids, okay, can they sizing you up? Okay? And you get he saw how these exotic experiments that he got going on with they with they splicing the genes of these different animals. You might damn see a flying snake soon coming at your damn ass, man. That's why they always talk about these flying serpents, okay? Snake with damn wings coming at your ass, okay? Not to mention the famine, all right? Listen up. Let me tell you what a famine is. If you can't afford to buy food, you're in a famine, okay? And I think didn't they come up today? I think Texas actually has it right now where uh, they're cutting back on those those uh, social uh, social uh, welfare. Okay. Con, con. Oh, and then did they reach the depth ceiling right now where they're actually looking out to cut back? They're gonna be cutting back. Yeah, and the Fed, uh con the land back with the brothers going into the Fed is ending the um the uh, uh C O V um to go to catch my drift, the C O V um uh, uh increase of, of the uh the food stamps and whatnot, where people are getting increased food stamps because of the, the uh you know the, the pestilence going around right now. The feds are getting ready in there. So people that are getting extra food stamps by way of this global pestilence, the CV19, is getting ready in. Yeah. All so right. Cause, yeah, because a lot of people you just sit, you sit you sit on your you sit on your comfortable fat lad asses, okay? And you know, and a lot, and you Edomites, you proud Edomites who, who like to point the finger at these other at the other tribes saying that they're the ones that are on welfare. No, your ass is on welfare. The majority of you are on welfare, okay, and a lot of you are using losing your double nice jobs, okay, who are not conditioned to being unemployed and suffering and oppressed like Jake, okay? You're not gonna get hired. I'm gonna just tell you don't go so go white people, you're not you're not going to get hired. You don't have any skills. That's the 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 the, the white privilege is, is over and done with the Lord right now is about to judge you dog on judge a tribe of Edom, okay? Esau the Edomite, the so-called white man, y'all your people are supposed to about to get judged right now and understand what it's like to be at the bottom, okay? Along with these other dog on these are the Moabites and the Ammonites and these are Elamites and the Hamites. Okay, all these other 16 nations out here that are prosper, okay, under the wicked rulership of this doggone, this, this doggone devil, okay, who's promoted them and put them in the front of Jake's, okay. So y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see exactly what it's like to be in the wild, wild west and animal, and uh, when 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 animals get wild, okay, because you know Jake is not gonna sit back and take this, take this, take this out just smooth, okay. So those days are talking down to to the wicked two thirds out here who, uh, who choose not to hack into this word. That's what the Lord is going to deliver them into the hands of Esau by way of them fighting up and rising up against his government. That's why you have these, uh, what, do you got, what was it now? Uh, a lot of brothers did videos on these, uh, 
These sorters jakes, along with IUIC, got a totem piece right now going to camp. You know those guys? I'll oh, bring the sticks to camp. Bring the sticks yeah, to yeah, camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I got some. There's some clowns um, that that uh, prophesy uh, uh, near the border over here. I forget the name of their camp. You know what I'm saying? But well, I, now nah, it came back to my memory. I'm not gonna even mention them, cause you know. But um, these Jakes, they 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 wear t-shirt fringes, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I know I know these brothers, man. You know one of them seems sincere. But anyway, the the leader of the camp brings a uh, uh, where uh, uh, brings his fucking uh, gat as a, a fucking. Uh, 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 you know, a piece, a stick to, to the camp, man. And we we had counsel about that. That's why, you know, that's why I'm not with them. <laughs> Before I found out that the brother was here, you know, I met these guys several months ago, like a well over a year ago, actually. Like a year and a half ago, something like that. You know, but anyway, you got jakes like that that bring sticks to camp because a lot of these guys are agents and they're not actually bought and, and paid for agents by, uh, the, uh, the, by the Edomites, the agents of, of Satan, man. Yeah. They're doing the bidding of Satan, looking to further, uh, 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 you know, you know, blame, uh, blame this ministry, man. Yeah. Okay. But by, by painting the truth, by by having the truth, uh, uh, you know, perceived in a negative light, but as we, if what we're doing is kind of like we're Black Panthers or something like that. Yeah, we're not. Okay. But guess what? It doesn't matter, Esau. And if you put them out there, and you're paying them to do that. It doesn't matter because guess what? We're not going to fall into that snare. The Lord is the Lord. The Lord, dead angels. Okay. Because the Lord executes judgment. So if Esau, if you coming out here and you trying to come after the, the prophets, guess what? Not because the Lord sanctioned it. Not because you can do it. Okay. Let's just face it here. You dug on average practice, man. Y'all can none of y'all can take on a dug on Jake Solo one on one. Okay? So we right now under the judgment of Deuteronomy 28 is the reason why you can have dug on two or three hundred of us on those dug on plantation. Get that stand up there and you get one dug on bangy leg little fucking faggot dug on Edomite beating the shit and the rest of us just stand up there and just look and go, oh, oh master. Uh, I'm gonna do exactly what you say next. I mean, get the hell out of here. Okay? If y'all think this is gonna be happen take place again, you better think again. This is going to be your future. And you niggas need to start doing that crap, okay? We don't have no weapons. Here's it, right here. This word. That's all you need. Those dead angels are going to deal with, going to deal with those, going to deal with these, these, uh, these doggone um, traitors, okay? These rebellious doggone niggas that are standing up there with their fringes, okay? And he's going to protect his elect. The ones who are doing, who are building the house of David the correct way, which is what, okay? We're, we're, supposed, we're supposed to come out here and our faces against what? Monsieur. These Edomites, this great wicked ass queendom called Great 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 Babylon America. Okay? And we are, we are looking out for the elect of Israel. That's it. Nothing else. Okay? It's just it's simple like that. Because why? This is how we're gonna be building the house of uh, the house of David. Okay, Khan. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse uh, 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. You see, we we are not we are not here to uh, fight for our carnal lives, man. Like how I said, those who look to save their save their lives on this side will lose them, but those who are willing to lose their lives for my sake shall gain everlasting life. Roughly paraphrasing, and that's the immortality prophesied in Saint John three and sixteen. And that's something that a lot of these these uh, wacky tacky Christians will glance over. Like it's you know like it, it's 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 uh, but they just they so they they just. No, they just they overlook what it says there. Oh, you know, we're gonna have everlasting life. Oh, no, it actually means that we're never gonna die again. And you know, within that change with that's gonna come under the second holy covenant, man. That's how we know that we're not under the second holy covenant yet because we're still in this flesh. So if you're pushing that, you're a fucking spiritual retard, man. Yep. You know, and, and especially if you're taking six to camp, man, because spiritual warfare is exactly what it sounds like, man. It's not. It it, it it is not carnal by any stretch of the imagination. So this is uh, Second Corinthians ten and four. <clears throat> For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High God, Yahweh, to the pulling down of strongholds. All well, these strongholds consist of the wicked imaginations of uh, uh, of the fairs of this life that chokes the word and makes it unfruitful, man. Okay, the politics, the science, the pseudoscience, the technocracy, the pushing, you know, going to the significance of this uh, World Economic Forum meeting they just had, you know what I'm saying? Involving the further development of this technocracy. Through the you know through the uh, the main you know uh, uh, precursor to the chip being the what the, the CBDCs everything in this world okay is of the fool is of the foolish wisdom and knowledge sensual and devilish within the within the uh, uh, the, the the perception of the heavenly father that's right that's why the, the, the uh, like it says in what's that Job or Proverbs says how he shall dim the light of the wicked Damn right. okay good or light what what light is what symbolic of information wisdom knowledge and understanding and that's why these people are called the Illuminati the so-called uh, bankers the central bankers man. Okay, because then that's why they 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 have they they're looking to have everyone follow after their example. You know, we we are your luminaries. We are the light bringers. You've, we're gonna bring you the light, and you will accept it, or we're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, implicate you, and then put a lot of you to death. 
uh, uh, hipster Georgia Guidestones aspect of their agenda. You see that? Yes, right. But but they're not God, man. They they've been pro they've been proclaiming that they're God under white supremacy. But now it's over. Okay. It's over. Now and then now your own your own uh, comrades, you know your your own your own uh, uh, insiders are turning against you. Damn right. Case yeah. in point. Okay. And you so-called white people going to slavery when the Lord returns, man. 1,000 okay. years of hardcore, brutal slavery, and then after you'll be rounded up and you'll be put to death in the most horrific manner possible. Huh. Like that. Lord willing, call y'all y'all about Shimmy on Shai, about Shimmer Kakadash. Huh. I'll be one of those. Huh. All right? Huh. And uh, so we had a zombie son up behind the camera there, and I was about to come up with it. Matthew 7 and 6, it says, Give not that bitches holy unto the dogs, neither cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and ran you. Okay? Now, as soon as the R came out there and mentioned the word white, okay, people like that, the zombie walked off, okay? See, these people are damn zombies, okay? We're not out here to entertain you people. We don't get two shits about your ass, okay? We're looking for the hopefully left out here of Yasharala, Israel, lots of so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos, those who would hear and those who would forbear. But the rest of you want to walk around with your fat asses and don't go walk your dogs and, you know, you, you get your little dog on simp husband behind you, pump, you know, pushing a stroller there with the kids like that because he's, he's, a, he's a little bitch, okay? And then you want to be an Edomite and you don't, you're offended by what you see up here? Hey, your people did it. Mm -hmm. So when it, when, it, when it worked for you and your pleasure, when you get the first hired, okay, get your vacation, your 401k, okay, you can walk around with your shoulders all nice and broad because, you know, life is going great for you. And we're sitting down here eating shit or having to bow down to your ass, okay? We don't get to go on vacation. Where's our damn vacation? Huh? Where's our damn vacation? All right, why do I have to always sing my damn friggin' dog on skin color when I go on? Go, 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 interview for a damn fucking dog on slave, to, 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 to slavery, the so-called white man. Huh? They don't have to think about it. They can walk freely through any dog on place like that, and all they have to do is just be what? The so-called white man or the so-called white bitch. All right? But here it is right here. Esau, you have implicated yourself. Okay? Right here. And we're not going to be quiet about it because we are praying to Yah about Shimei Shai and crying out aloud to him. Okay? To do something about it. We want him to judge this place. Okay, we're sick of seeing a smile on your dog on Peckerwood's face. We're sick of seeing a smile on your dog on niggas face. Okay, that admire these Peckerwoods. Okay, you weak ass dog on niggas, spicks, and dog on webbacks. Yes, and I'm using those terms just like that. Because that's exactly what you are. Okay, you are a whole different set of, of people in the tribe of Israel. Okay, than from the 130 lakh. Okay, those who are turning their ways, turning, turning from this wicked world. Okay. And, and, and following the ways of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, okay? But the rest of you, we don't give two shits about like that. You, 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 you forgive this man for this crap right here. And I, and I bet you it's a damn Jake arguing too with those like Doomies who saying, Great Babylon America can't fall. But as if you are benefiting from it. As if you are benefiting. Why wouldn't you want this dog on place to fall, Jake? You're not benefiting. What? You think because you're eating a damn taco that, that makes you so make you a damn man? Go ahead, Al. Uh, this is uh, Sirach chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusts, so is the wickedness. So you can clean off, just like you can you can clean off the iron, or the rust, rather, of a, 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 off of a, a iron weapon all you want. That rust is always going to come back, liken it to the wickedness of Esau Edom, man. He's never going to change. Okay, like it says in Jeremiah 13, chapter, can a leopard change his spots? Once the meaning what? Once the devil, always the devil, man. So he has constructed this beast system for your downfall, for your, for your, not for your betterment or benefit, but for the, a complete opposite, man. For your misery, okay. For, 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 for your, uh, for your slander, okay. For, for your oppression, for your affliction, man. Okay, especially through the moral decrees and policies, okay, like the asylum laws and and so forth, okay. You know the 13 to 14 amendments, okay. You know the 16 amendment where they can, uh, uh, I believe it's the 16th amendment. Where they could justify, um, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a tax and every goddamn thing, you know what I'm saying, pretty much that you that you buy, that you purchase, okay, under, under what? Consumerism, you know, and commerce. Because why? America is not a, a country, it's a, it's a corrupt corporation, man, okay? And this corruption was always geared towards you, uh, uh, you tribes, man, yep. okay? Because it's not our place of rest. So why? So like a brother was saying, going into, why would you Why would you not want this place to fall? Why? Because you're sleeping, you love sleep. You you, you like to be coddled and, and, and uh, pampered, man. You know, and, and patronized, man. You know, you, you, you like you like being, uh, uh, you, know, you like being uh, talked down to. But as long as you have, uh, uh, you know, and justifying it, as long as you have, uh, you know, a, a warm bed and soft sheets to go back to a home to, with electricity and heat, okay? Once that shit is taken away, the gifts that destroys uh, the heart, Percent Ecclesiastes 7 chapter, 
what what foundation are you standing on at that point? You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing to find stand the foundation. Gone. They build they 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 they, they build their on sand, man. Gone. Gone. Okay. Gone. See, we build ours on the rock. That's right. Now you had a thing that happened this week here, just to show you just exactly just how diabolical this man is. You have Bank of America turned around and took money out of thousands of people's doggone account. Okay, saying it was a glitch. And I saw a video that was put up on TikTok and I think on YouTube. And guess who? Guess guess who? Guess who? Guess who really got? Who the victims were mostly? Doggone Jakes. You bet it. Okay, mostly Jakes. See the DC demise. If you if you take you take fifty dollars or a hundred or, or three or four hundred dollars of their of their bank account, it ain't they ain't miss that. But so Jake, that's a doggone life changer, man. That's a life changer. That's that's a that's a that's a life changer. All right. And that's how they doing it. So they're showing you right there and then when they're gonna come up with this false glitch, okay? And everybody money disappear, okay? What are you gonna dog on do, Jake? What are you gonna dog on do? You've always you've always run to dog on Daddy East or the so-called white man to do what to, to, to bail your ass out of every dog on thing, okay? Because y'all don't believe that there's a dog on a, a so-called uh, a black god or black Hamashiach who y'all call Jesus. Y'all don't believe that. Because why? The image of a so-called black man has always been what? Poverty, oppression, okay? No power, nothing. But what we, what we are telling you is, these doggone Am Amalekites, these doggone old gritty ass, doggone sort of my faggots sitting in some cave somewhere right now, and they're right now at the WEF right now, okay? They're shaking their trousers right now because they can see the chariots, their, their telescope can see the chariots parked out there, okay? They know what we are saying. They're pissing their pants every single time we put a video up, they're pissing their pants. Every single time. That's the power of this word and this truth. Right on. That's right. This is uh this is Job chapter 21, verse 7. Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yea, are mighty in power. You see? So these these are these are the wealthy people of the world, man. You know, the old decrepit Edomites like uh David Rockefeller. They ended up kicking the bucket back in 2017 because of uh the many heart transplants he got from Jake didn't pan out for his ass, okay? Because the Heavenly Father required his soul. Pursuing Ezekiel 18 and 4, that wicked soul shall die, okay? And these Edomites are the epitome of, of evil, man. Okay, that's why their satanic new world order is, you know, is, is the epitome of, of evil counsel. That's why it's gonna fail because it's, it's anti-righteousness, uh, man. And these are the these are the many anti-Christ, uh, anti-Messiahs, anti known anti ones prophesied in 1 John 2 and 18 that shall no longer be uh, uh, very soon. Why? Because you know, uh, because they, they shall, uh, uh, what is that scripture? It says that they shall uh, go down to the grave. In the book of Job, somewhere in the book of Job, it says that uh, the wicked the wicked become great in power and they shall go down to the grave, roughly paraphrasing. This is what's happening to these devils, man. I mean, what? They're losing their rulership. Why? Because the spirit of Babylon, the great, the spirit of the modern day Egypt, the house of bondage is wearing off to where people are starting to become more privy to the wickedness of the devices, man, and all of its intricate details, man. You know what I'm saying? Like what their plan is with the whole technocracy, okay? Plugging everyone into this, you know, quantum physics supercomputer, you know, and so forth, where they can just monitor everyone's movements, everything that people do, they want to see it. That's fucking weird and, and, and demented and sadistic and evil, man. Okay, because this, hey, this is this is Big Brother. Okay, Esau Edom. Okay, you know, looking looking so for to play God on Earth. Okay, but right. he's 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 gonna he's gonna, uh, under the root of, he's gonna be in for rude awakening. Oh, total rude awakening. Kind of, I mean, they right now arguing right now at uh, 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 the meeting. Because guess what happened? There are people that actually went to that WEF meeting. They actually go in there thinking that they're doing something actually to make the earth better. There are actually Edomites that really believe this stuff. Okay? And this is the spirit that the Lord is putting in, the, in, in these Edomites because when they realize that they are actually being betrayed, we can go into the book of Isaiah chapter 19, which talks about this. But it says, the burden of Egypt, which is which you know is this place, Great Babylon, America, behold the Lord, Yahweh, Shemeh, and Shag, Right upon a swift idol shall come into Egypt, and idols of Egypt shall be moved out by this present, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst thereof. Now here's what here's, here's, here's the kicker here. And I will set the Egyptians against Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Now, a lot of times this fight starts off with words, okay? Disagreements, okay? And you are seeing that going on right now, okay? You are Biden who's talking about what the, the red the, the the red demons on the on, on the on the right or whatever left whatever they are they call it they all they're all wicked okay are destroying America at the same time they're accusing him of destroying America because he's, he's he's called Sleepy Creepy Joe and this man sleeps okay so this is the this is the great shepherd that was set to watch over Great Babylon America and this man falls asleep on a damn job showing you just I mean seriously Jake 
You seriously gonna put your trust into in, 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 in a demonic piece of shit like that? That is the weakest piece of crap. That's why I tell you, Doug, on, hey, get out of there, get out of this man, military man. Tell the general them and tell the tell the generals them and the colonel them to go fuck themselves. Let these crackers fight for their own their own their own their own sovereignty, man. Why are y'all why y'all why y'all putting your blood on the line, okay, for what you think is gonna be perceived on retirement? You're not gonna get a retirement. They're gonna screw you. The only retirement you're gonna get is that damn microchip and your and your dog on pause. And I know I'm and I know and because I know a lot of stupid niggas still in the damn military. They don't get two shits about you. The most racist organization in Great Babylon America is the United States military. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm one about can tell you he was an officer. I was an officer. And I can tell you, especially in the officer corps. So why are you dug on Latinos, blacks, and Native Americans and putting your ass in line for this dug on man? What are you fighting for? This place is going to be destroyed. America is going to lose at least 60% of their military force on the first doggone month of World War III. They cannot win against the meat. The meat is raised up by the Lord himself. That's why he stirred up against Great Babylon America. Okay? Not, not a lot of these pessimistic people, like my stupid ass, like I, I got into a, a little debate with my uh, my neighbor. He wanted them, he wanted them uh, what do you call it? One of them, uh, them, 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 them dumb, smart niggas. They think they know everything. They got, they got, they got some knowledge. But they don't have it all together. He's, it's a correct. You know, he thinks he's like a hippie, or whatever. But he was talking about how, well, well, I hope in that pessimistic spirit. I hope, well, I hope that we never go. Well, you, but he knows it's gonna happen inevitably because we, he, I heard him agree to it. You know, but these are the same kind of people that that are kidding themselves, man. Okay, they think this place is gonna go on forever. Okay, especially you, you, you men in the Israel, you, you Israelite men in the, in the military. You think that you have, uh, you think that you're. Now you're pumped up in pride, you know, uh, not understanding that you're fighting with nothing. This is why when all hell breaks loose, you're going, you're going to be afraid of fulfilling this, this prophecy here unless you uh, uh, unconform your, your mind from this world and come back to your power because he's, he's the only place of refuge in a time of great evil, man, including thermonuclear destruction. So this is to you so-called you, you so black and indigenous men in the military. Yeah. This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. Mm -hmm. You know, it says... They have remained in their holes. You're gonna be you're gonna be hiding, man, on your little shelters and whatnot. Because mm -hmm. really, you're really gonna be hiding from your house shot. Because like it says in Revelation of the 19th chapter, okay, how these nations are gonna go from fighting amongst themselves to simultaneously teaming up to fight your house shot, like it says in Second Ezra 13 chapter. And that would include you so-called black and indigenous men that remain in the military, man. Like mm -hmm. fools, man, fighting for your your, your oppression. Don't give a flying fuck about you, man. Yep. It says the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight, they have remained in their holes, their might had failed. They became as women. They have burnt their dwelling places. Her bars are broken. Okay? There's no, there's not going to be any defense, okay, of America against the onslaught uh, of, 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 of the indignation of Yahweh by Shem Shai, okay, uh, uh, unleashed upon this place, okay, uh, through Yahweh Shai and the angels. Okay? You want to come? This this is inevitable judgment that's coming. You cannot stop it. That's why in that 1987 United Nations well, resolution speech by, uh, what's the name? Uh, Nixon? I believe it was Nixon. Not Nixon. What's his name? Reagan. It's like Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan has said, um, he has suggested that all the nations put their differences to the, to, to, uh, to, to, to the side and, and, and simultaneously come together to, to uh, prepare uh, to fight. You know, prepare the fight against this quote unquote extraterrestrial force. What was the extraterrestrial force that Reagan was talking about? Hamas Shagat Havashai. That's right. And that's why uh, the Pentagon has withhold uh, withheld the uh, the intelligence on these so called uh, UFOs and UAPs, yeah. which are the chariots in the script. And that's why the elder brother um, Karataza from Vegas had did a video recently about how uh, uh, some Edomite has spoke about, um, you know, there's some Edomite. You know, has spoken about how uh, you know the 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 epistle in uh in a, in a, the book of Ezekiel, okay, is talking about the chariots, so-called UFOs and UAPs. Because mm -hmm. these are the, these these are the angelic vehicles that are going to end the wickedness of America, Babylon the Great, by scorching this place. Ultimately, the fathership, man, that's the right. father of all so-called UFOs, UAPs, and that's that fathership, man. That 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 uh that that uh you know that that gigantic uh, chariot that that we will be gathered within, man. That's all right, right, the elect that will be gathered within within a twinkle of an eye. That's right. All right, before this before this destruction consumes uh, 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 America, Babylon the Great. Okay, or like it says in Wisdom of Solomon the Fifth Chapter, you know, in which 
you you know you you and God the people shall be, behold the strangers for salvation within within these vehicles, man. Yeah, they're gonna be like, what? We thought this life is nothing. Them, God. them niggas, God. them. God. That's the reason why the Lord chose us. Take a look at us, okay? With the exception of a few brothers, green, being tall and hand dark and handsome, God. okay? We certainly ain't rich. God. We ain't famous. All right. Who wants to listen to us? We ain't gonna know off anybody except it's true. Okay? And that's why Yahshua Mashiach, he's laid a snare for all you dung on dumb people. Because why? You typically will not look at people like us. Right. Because we are the we are we are the sorters of the ignorance of the society, the ones who beg. The one who have to crivel for freaking something. You qualified for a dog on a uh, 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 hundred thousand dollar a year job, but then you gotta go quiver and beg for a dog on fifteen thousand dollar a year dog on job. Okay, we settle, and that's our that's our entire tribe have to always settle. I remember back when you're saying I, uh, when you have a tribe brought up that parable of Lazarus, you're talking about us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like the the the, 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 the parable of Lazarus, where the poor man is begging the rich man for his crumbs, not not a uh, piece of his meal, but his fucking crumbs, man. That's what we're fighting for. That's what we're begging for. Okay. You know, crumbs at the devil's table, man. Yeah, and then guess what? The dogs, the dogs are what? They and you so-called white people going to slavery. Every single fucking one of you, man. You're going to fucking slavery, man. Yeah, I'm right. For, for a thousand years, and you're going to be fucking destroyed. Eradicated. One thousand years. One thousand years. To the fucking disease of the earth. Tell look at you fucking pale, leprous devils, man. Yeah, I'm right. So this is the word that's coming out here, okay? Oh, I found it, though. Slack here. Oh, this is what I'm talking it? about, Khan. It says, uh, the, the, the title of the brother uh, uh, video, Bible Belt U.S. Representative identifies, quote unquote, UAP citing in the book of Ezekiel. Okay. It says, U.S. government reports rise in military sightings of, quote unquote, UFOs. Because it's undeniable at this point. That's right. The more you try to deny, the more you, you bring, the, the more you substantiate with what's prophesied here. And it's right there. Huh? Con. Why do you think Esau is so obsessed with UFOs coming here and attacking his ass, okay? First of all, he says to himself, as is what, God on this earth. Okay, and they keep it a secret because if you want to, if you want to establish yourself as a dog on the, the the god of this earth, okay, by changing the face of the judges, you know, when they came in during the Renaissance time, okay, then you would hide that you'd hide the fact that there is the god, the true, the true creator of the heavens and earth, is actually what they call a, a so-called black man, and he's coming back in a technology that's beyond your beyond even your best writers in Hollywood cannot even come up with the with the creativity or the imagination of what these go on, what these crafts look like, and the capability. Okay, able to pull G forces that would basically uh, turn you into soup. Okay, and that's why we're going to get those new bodies. So when we come back, we are the real Superman of the Earth. Okay, not these dog on Pacey Packer would have to take pop pills at age 20 just to get their limp freaking dog on Packer up. That's why that women so desire Jake so much. You don't even, even have to try. Okay, you don't even have to dog on try. Now, lying back on what the brother's saying, he's going to continue on. Um, this is for you Jakes who are still cleaving to this man's military, okay? Come on, let's face it, man. You get, you get promoted slow. Unless you're enlisted, you get promoted real doggone slow, okay? And you're pretty much a dog for some doggone bitch-ass colonel, cracker colonel, okay? And it says, this is from the book of Isaiah 13 and 15. It says, everyone that is found shall be trust true, and everyone that is joined unto them, who? Joined unto who? He saw the Edomite, the so-called white man, okay? And it's military okay in his words and speech of blasphemies against Mosai Yahweh Shem Yahushai okay shall be shall fall by the sword death that sword could be lasers it could be an actual sword okay it could be a fist okay with the elect knocking the crap out of your ass okay you starve into death okay either way you're gonna fall okay because why you cleave on to these doggone people that you worship so much we just had a whole group of these pansy old crackers walking by you know they think they're gonna retire and sit there rocking chair and all that stuff not understanding at some point in time in the very near future it could be this year or next year okay they could be going what is going on and then they're gonna come and swab you dog on stupid niggas that like to freaking don't feel pity because jake they will drop everything they're doing to go save a freaking dog on cracker man i don't get that spirit seriously okay and they can come and go we should all get along. All of a sudden, they all want to get along. See, that's how they are. Because see, when they don't have anything, suddenly you're equal. No, we're not equal to you. See, we're going to get to laugh at you. Because the Lord said, the, the Yahushua and Mashiach said what? His servants will eat. We believe we are the servants of Yahushua and Mashiach. Okay, so we believe we're going to eat. We have, a, we have a great confidence that we are going to eat. In fact, it's not even in our God that we're not going to eat. That's right. I got a precept for you because, uh, oh, it reminds me. 
A lot of these Jacobs gonna be in the spirit of Lot's wife, and hey, like that scripture says, one of the shortest scriptures in the, in, the, in the scriptures in the book, man. Remember Lot's wife. She uh, 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 was not willing to completely let go of the carnal treasures that she was so accustomed to enjoying on this side. So when the Heavenly Father brought that destruction in time of Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, her ass got turned into a pillar of salt. But basically, you know her, you know, you know, you know, uh, her, her 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 insides evaporated, man. Okay. And she became a she, and she she became a pillar of salt. And that that statue is 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 reportedly there. Uh, that that statue for her is still there to this day. Mm -hmm. You know, I did a lesson on this uh, like like a year ago or something like that, man. Yeah. It's still there to this day, man. There's no cap. You can look it up for yourself, man. Yeah. So all you naysayers and gainsayers out there, that further solidifies the word of the scripture to be uh, true. Okay. But you know, and see, and, then, and, and so in the going line back on what the brother was saying, we are going to eat because the heavenly father promised that, man. See, why you these people out here, you know, fighting over resources and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to bring this out. This is what this, this, this is what is was going to uh, further befall these people, man, because they thought that. You know, since uh, America is the so-called greatest country by default, okay, they think that there's ne they're never going to run out of food, never going to run out of water, medical supplies, so forth. But this is going to happen. Isaiah 19 and 10. And they shall be broken in the purposes thereof. All that make sluices and ponds for fish. When you look up that word for sluices, it basically means wages. Okay? It reminds me of that scripture. Uh, what's that in uh, uh, Job or Lamentations? Where it says uh, uh, their money shall be like food. Or they sh I forgot how it goes. You know, I might look, I might find it, but, you know, basically what it says here, what it says, uh, what it says uh, that they, it says all that makes sluices and ponds for fish, okay? So meaning what? You know, their, their wages shall be uh, 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 like ponds for fish. When we look up that word for pond, what is it? Uh, it's a, a, a stagnant pond, okay? Like meaning what? It goes into like a scarcity. Okay, like when you go fishing, for example, using the fishing parable, for example, when you go fishing, you think there's a, you know, when you go fishing, you're not expected to catch a whole bunch of fish. You might catch one if you're fortunate. You know what I'm saying? It's one more so when, you know, we're, we're in the midst of a great famine, all right, and, and, and uh, uh, at the height of biochemical warfare and such, where these chemicals are destroying, you know, uh, uh, these beasts under, under the, 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 the waters and whatnot, man. Yeah. You know, you know, you got, you got uh, chemtrails causing birds to drop dead out of the yeah. sky. So not going to be very, very much to, to, to fish for and so, and so forth, you know, in terms of farming and, and agriculture and such, man. You know what I'm saying? So meaning what? There's gonna be a scarcity of resources out here, and that's gonna be, you know, at the, the, the that's gonna be the, the the main reason why people are gonna be in this civil war, yeah. fighting over resources. You can't even drink. They tell you they keep on right now and tell you the the the, the rain is so acidic and so poison right now. You can't even drink rain water. They are advising they are advising against that. Con. Okay. You got most of your ponds out here double contaminated. Okay. The crap, dead bodies, and all kinds of foolishness and stuff inside of it. The, the, the drinking water right now in these cities are coming on these stuff going to rusted that pipe, okay? I mean, you take a shower, I don't know if you do, if you feel it out, out here in El Paso, but man, my skin come on chalky every doggone day, okay? It, itchy, 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 man. Like, what the hell is this shit, okay? You look at your doggone toilet, you got to bleach it out every single day and scrub it every single day because it, it's rusting. Like, what, what, what the hell is going on, okay? So imagine if that's the same water that's coming to the tap that you're cooking with and you're drinking. Okay. What, what, is, what is that doing to your body? It's like when it comes out, it comes out like all brown and whatnot. And that's why, uh, like, when you go to like filter your water, you see all that fucking junk that's in it, man. You know. And that's why uh, the water that we drink is nothing but recycled wastewater. They go, they go to the water plants. That's why when a lot of these women flush their uh, their tampons down the toilet, it winds up in the fucking uh, 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 filters uh, at the at the water plants and that's shit, right. man. And that's not water that they take and recycle and then sell it to us. That's wicked. That's abominable as hell. Yeah, because but why? Because we're in the hand. You have the evil right there. Okay. See, like when you when you look over there, you see these uh, bunch of like uh, sodomites walking. Okay. Looking over here. Okay, because as if this is some entertainment for them while they go go to the bar to go have their drink. Okay. May the Lord, how about you, shy, have them choke and die tonight. Okay. And with a DUI accident. Okay. And I and I hope that happens to them. Right. That's right. You know, because see, they, they're, they're horrible. Now again, to this doggone peck of what uh, I do me and Cracker that, that said that uh, America is not going to be destroyed. Here's the deal here. This is the book of Isaiah uh, 13 and 7 where 70 says, Behold, I will stir up the Medes. Who are the Medes? The modern day Russian. Okay. But see, it's not going to be just Russia, dumbass. Okay. It's going to be a conglomerate of other little nations to have stirred up. There's a lot of nations that hate this place. This place, the so-called white man has fucking screwed over a whole lot of doggone people. Because everywhere this disease go, okay, he contaminates and messes it up. And that's why you have a dog on caveman against caveman, okay? 
You get Edomites against Edomite. Those Russians, okay? And they have, they've been chosen. And Putin knows this. That's the reason why he comes on the evil code so certain scriptures, see? See, see, Putin is a fan of the prophets. Right. Those Russians are a fan of the prophets because why? They are guaranteed victory over this doggone horde, this beast, okay? He said, mention, the, the, the doc mentioned earlier about the man becoming like women. It's true. You're going to fall bliss right now over there like that. Most of those doggone men cannot even doggone run two miles in under doggone 17 minutes. A bunch of doggone sort of my pussies left in the military, man. Go time out time. And if you're a doggone commando, commander, you're expected to lead a bunch of doggone soft PlayStation playing, TikTok watching fucking doggone, doggone little pussy ass soldiers. Okay? You're expected to lead that. Okay? You people have no clue just how soft your doggone military really is, man. Okay, the American United, the United States military has been going up against doggone stick figure men. Or the Mogadishu in Ethiopia. Alright, so now the Lord has stirred up real men, real, real, real cave beasts. Not a hairy cast cave beast. Okay, to go up against him. And it says, which shall not regard silver nor for gold, they shall not delight in it. Because guess what? The Lord is not sending them over here to destroy this place because to get gold or anything like that. He's sending for the purpose just to simply destroy. Okay? That's all they're gonna do. It says their bow also should dash a young man to pieces, meaning their weapons, okay? And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb, meaning the what? They could be tearing these dog on bitches. You don't want you don't want women are thinking that you're you wanna be equal to men, you're gonna be getting a lot of dicks up, you're gonna get a lot of damn dicks, okay? A lot of dicks when them Russians get a hold of you, man. Okay? You're gonna be getting a lot of them damn freaking up on popsicle dicks over there in this war. And it says, their eyes shall not spare children. You know, they're calling dog on children. They're calling adults children here. 19 years old. Time. He's just a child. Yeah. How the hell is a 19 year old man a child? How the hell is a dog on 19 year old woman a dog on a, a, a child? They do that to, to keep, you know, to keep people, you know, pacified here. Okay. You know, so they can, they can, especially Jake, so they can. So they can um, they can persuade the minds of the masses, all right, in darkness, you know, to, to not hold themselves accountable when you know when they fuck up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Because if you go, if you go, you say, oh, you're a child, then you're, you're expected to do continue to do wrong thing. Let me put it to you this way. I'm old school. I came up old school. Like this, if you're over 12 years old, you're a damn man and a damn woman, plain and simple. Around me, you can have a tough fucking time. Okay, you can have a tough time. I told some Jason who was out here, you're 12 years old and you're a fucking man. I would expect you to act like one too. And I would hold you accountable like damn one. Like that. See? And that's gonna be a that's gonna be a game changer for you, dog on Jake's there when the time comes. See, there's gonna be a separation. Okay? And a lot of you are gonna be running to dog on the righteous man to get saved over here. And you're not gonna get saved because what? You're not mad. You think I'm gonna go grab you think I'm gonna grab your big fat, sloppy ass, 300 pounds, and put you on my shoulder and walk with you to save you from dog on. When these Edomites putting you to death? No, I'm gonna tell the dog on Edomites put your ass to damn death. Okay? You deserve death. Alright, look at I just look at him and like don't look at me to stop me. Like in that movie, uh Book of Eli with Denzel, when he's walking, people are getting put to death and he's trying to convince himself and mind you basically trying to convince himself to mind his own business. And don't worry about that girl, that that female over there, you know, getting you know, getting you know, raped to death or whatever. Don't worry about that. Don't worry that's about what's it. gonna happen. You know, that's gonna happen. You see, you know, you know, that's why uh reminds me, man. What happened to Vanessa Guillen, oddly enough, a female soldier down in San Antonio? Oh, oddly enough, 19 years old. Yep. A grown ass woman. But in this society, oh, that's terrible what happened to her that much more so because she was a child. No, she's not. According to the laws of the scriptures, she was a woman. She became a woman long ago because she hit she uh went she experienced her, her menstrual cycle. And as a woman, her the flower of her age, and uh spoke about it first Corinthians the seventh chapter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and 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 they found her remains in several different places because she she reported that she was being raped. Okay. And and, 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 and and the powers that be didn't like that, or you know, the higher, the, the upper echelons of her military operation over her uh, battalion or a platoon or whatever the case was, you know, in her case, you know, found out that she had reported what happened to her because they were involved and they and had her eyes lined up and put to death in a very gruesome way. You know why? Because the Heavenly Father, okay, uh, you know, was allowing evil to slay the wicked, like it says in Psalm 34 and 21. You see, that's why, and, and that includes what's happening to you women. Like, I was going into the last lesson I did, where 60,000 women 60,000 of you Eve were found uh, 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 murdered or uh, went missing last year alone, okay? Oh, 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 14, oh, mind you, 14, 14 Eves went missing down there in Washington, D.C. Uh, like four or five years ago, and, and there was no uproar over that. Why? Because our, we are, 
because why? We are those lives of, of uh, uh, we, we are, uh, what does it say, Zephaniah 2 and 1? We are, uh, we are that nation not desired. Yeah. Okay? You know, they're, they're, why? Because part of the curse is not is, is us not having any assurance of our lives here. Yeah. See? So you, it's very vain for you to put your trust in princes, man. Like it says in, uh, what's that, Psalms? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, including this devil's military. You know, going back to what you said about this one, this one idiot, this Edomite, bragging, bragging on how, you know, America's not going to be destroyed and all that. He mentioned um, F-35s, you know, for, you know, further bragging on the military equipment of a, of a Babylon. Let me bring this out. And I'm going I'm to I'm make a commentary on that. This is a Nahum 3, the verse, the point is in verse 2, but well, I'm starting start up at verse 1. It says, woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. Who is that prey? Israel. Okay, we're going to pray to the devil, man. So it's very, very, it's, it's a folly for you to boast in the military of a uh, corrupt corporation that was constructed and devised for your downfall in the first place, man. Okay? Because it's all full of lies and robbery, like uh, liberty and justice for all. Okay, where, where, uh, where how does that sentiment uh, uh, apply to the so-called migrants and immigrants coming over here seeking the American dream? Mm -hmm. That same dream that's going to, that's going to, uh, 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 that's going to, it's going to uh, pass away, like it says in uh, Joel, the, uh, uh, 20th chapter, around the 8th verse, okay? You know, why, why, so why, why is this a vanity? Because this devil's rulership is temporary, man. Because he set the devil up, like it says in Proverbs 21 and 1. The hearts of men are in the hands of the heavenly father, okay? So this is a Nahum 3 and 2. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. And these prancing horses are these vehicles, man. So in these, uh, these uh, 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 military Humvees, these police cars, you know what I'm saying? You know these these uh, uh you know whatever you call these these, these are the military uh, uh you know drones military drones ships fighter jets like oh case in point the devil mentioned f-35s you know afraid of bragging and boasting in the military equipment of america but hold on you're a fucking idiot because f-35s uh have limitations and in, in, in poor weather conditions like especially in the winter you didn't know about that well you fucking uh whether you knew about it or not the, the true uh, 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 the, the truthers, the real truthers, the prophets of, of Jerusalem, back doing the same things they were doing back then, prophesying against wicked, evil empires of famine, war, and pestilence, and to bring these things out to the forefront. Why? Because, you know, to further be used by the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shah, to further tear down these wicked imaginations of these strongholds and assembly blocks, including the, the, the vanity of your military, man. Because your military is going to be uh, further made null and void when you fight Yahweh Shine angels. So you could brag about your F 122s and what uh, F 35s and whatnot. Your F 35s have limitations, man. Why the fuck would you brag about F 35s? And he's, he's not even a pilot, and you know what? And guess what? He's not even flown one, and he's probably a guy that's talking who's now even serve. Kind. He's on the biggest dog on dog on pretending and actors. Okay, we call him Stolen Valor. But these motherfuckers that talk about the capability of the United States military, but now you don't serve a damn day. How the hell you can love your dog on own queendom, and you know you don't fucking put your ass in a dog on line? Okay? That's right. But then they get the nerve and they see you as a Jake walking around like that. Thank you for your service. I said many times, don't thank me for your service. Uh -huh. They thank the, the the federal government thanked me every dog on two weeks, and if they didn't, I won't show the fuck up to work. Uh -huh. All right? They thank me every two weeks for the paycheck. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't need you to fucking blow smoke up my ass. Uh -huh. I didn't join the military to save your sorry ass, uh -huh. okay? And I was cold like that. Okay, uh -huh. and they, you know, some people were like, why are you like that? Like, I didn't join the military for you, man. Don't get this fucking shit twisted, okay? That's right. All right? So I was now, because I was now a patriot motherfucker, okay? I, I joined the military to get a paycheck. That was it. I don't give two fuck about the United States. And land back and land back in the brother's point. Henry Kissinger said it himself. All, all military men are like dumb dogs. Yeah. He said it himself. Well, one of the top, uh, uh, you know, billionaire, whatever his status, economical status is, billionaire philanthropist insiders of the wicked councils of the the, uh, the Dukes of Edom, the Amalekites, said it himself. Henry Kissinger. Yeah. And, so, it, and it's true. They feed you. They feed you. They, they feed you E-grade freaking meat, okay? I, I, we can. I, I can, We can go on, on, on with the crap. The, the crap that they feed your ass and shit. You're, you use as an experiment for them to poke you with every doggone type of doggone uh, uh, a serum or juice or whatever the case like that. They experiment on your ass first. They tell you you don't have no rights. You're the property of the doggone United States government. The hell the hell you are. See, I used to open up my damn mouth like that because you know what? I walked in there with a skill set. I didn't walk, I didn't get, I didn't get any when I came out. You know what I came out in the military with? Bad fucking knee, bad back, and bad, bad every dumb one thing, okay? Okay, and a hate, and a, and a, and a confirmed hate, okay? For these dumb one cockroach fucking dumb one disease fucking filthy Edomites, these so-called white man. This is the book. 
of Psalms 94 and starting with verse 3. It says, Lord, how long shall the wicked, the so-called white man, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long is this man going to triumph? Okay? And this is why we come out here and we are bugging the Lord, Yahweh Bashim and Shai, every day. Lessons after lessons, camp after camp, okay, prayer after prayer. How long? We are crying out to our Lord. And it says, How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. They boast themselves of their technology and all the other stuff like that. We already know that. We already know that. We already know that they, this guy's shitless. Right now, if somebody called the cops on us right now, I bet you almost every freaking cop in this little one city will come right here right now. They hear this too so-called black man standing up here that's a threat to the dog of little whiteies okay that's how scared these dog parasitic freaking people are okay of the real gods of this earth okay who in this dog on weak flesh give you a give you an idea if you watch the movie uh uh what is it the flood or the north arc with uh, uh russell crowe they had some angels that were in, the, in these bodies of rocks okay and then they had to do some type of good and at the conclusion at the conclusion they actually went back up into heaven See, that was Esau mocking, okay, the sons of God who are actually down here in these little, um, these, these little flashes that we have right now, okay, in our, in, not in our real form. So we don't get to get those forms until we have to go through all, our, our, all of our, our, our judgment, and then those of us who are worthy will get those forms to come back first, okay, to give judgment to this dog on, these, these, to get our licks in on this dog on man, okay, and it says, they break in pieces. Thy people, O Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, and shine, afflict thine heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, The Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob, Yasharala, Israel, regard it. So, what Esau is saying is basically the all seeing, all the omnipotent, okay, power, Yahweh Shemesh, is not going to see it. That tells you the, utter, the utterness of the stupidity of this dog on man, okay? And on top of that, they also understand that we are the sons of the sons of the Lord, the sons of the sons of the power, okay? That he's not going to regard it. Wait a minute. So you trying to say you trying to say that you that, that the man would not care for his sons or his children? So this is what this man is saying, okay? That he can do whatever he wants to do to us. That the, the all-seeing who created the universe and everything is not going to see it, and he doesn't even care. That's what he's telling you. He's, he's proud. That's you know, pride right there. He's claiming you're proud. And that's that why, is uh, proud. Real quick, uh, I've got a precept in Sirach 5 and 3, but it'll start up in verse 1. This is Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 1. Set not thy heart upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. You know, this, this, is, this is Esau's mindset. I, I, well, I have enough. But, but he can never, but see, when I'll be he, in his mind, he can never have enough because he believes that, uh, you know, he believes that uh, uh, no one, no one, uh, uh, no one dares, no one should dare to speak up against them, man. All right, because they call us goyim, bottomless feeders, bottomless uh, cattle, or, you know, whatever, whatever they call it, so, uh, goyim, you know, bottomless feeders. You know what I'm saying? So, because we, you know, the poor in this world, rich in the spirit, don't have the resources, you know, that they have, they're like, well, who the hell are you to say anything about it? Yeah, we, like it says in Sirach 12 and 17, okay? And they, they have, they, they, uh, uh, you know, they, they can never have enough, roughly yeah. paraphrasing, you know? That's why Sirach 5 and 2 says, Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart, and say not, Who shall control me for my works? For the Lord, Yahweh by Shem and Shai, will surely revenge thy pride. See, and that's why he's bringing these devils down, man. Okay? And they believe that no one no one can that no one can stop them. Like this devil is saying, Oh, well, no one can take down America. Okay, well, uh, the Heavenly Father, you tell that, tell that to uh, Yahweh Shai. He comes back here. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna, you're, you're, your words gonna be stuck in your fucking throat, man. Yep, and I want to see him get up, put on the uniform, okay, grab his piece, and defend this nation. Instead of just start, just just being a keyboard warrior, a keyboard soldier, or a keyboard marine, okay. And then, by the way, when he when he's made that statement, hey, there was an Eve, uh, a damn near butt ass naked Eve, with a cleavage showing, and some some damn Daisy Duke sitting right next to him, man. You can never like I was telling the brother, man, right when we started camp, right before we started camp. Seen a, a nigger woman and an a, a Edomite walking across the street. Yep. Uh, uh, side by side. You, it never fails, man. Every time, hey, any, any nine, nine times out of ten, damn near, you see a, a Eve 
uh, walking, you got a damn Edomite next to him. Yeah. Let's see, see the thing, these Edomite, these Edomite men, these so-called, these, these, these Crocker boys, they, you know, they think they're getting some, some, some dark meat, some dark meat. All of a sudden, like that, they think that they should be cool with you. It's like, don't, don't step up to me like that. I told my sister, hey, don't, don't bring, don't bring one, don't, don't come, don't bring a Crocker and introduce it to me. And that was before I came into the Dogon Truth. How much more so right now? Okay? But that's damnation on your ass, man. They're weak, all right? And then these Eve that these Eve that cling to them, okay, and these men, they got they got real proud. Cause see, they think they can play to both sides, you know? I could be a, I can have the benefits of being a, an Edomite at the same time because I'm clear I have a I have a friggin' dog on, you know, a stench, a stench, stench beast uh cleaving on to me, okay, from the from the tribe that I will press. Okay, I can kind of walk into them because you know what? I'm down with the I'm down with the sisters. Are you down with that? That's all you down with that because she can die with your ass, okay? Because the Lord, the Lord is going to decree that. Okay? You have any close away? Ah, con. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 26, verse 25. For when he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Oh well, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, America is the land of the, the, the land of the free. Home of the home of the brave. No, you're the land of the feed and home of the slaves, man. That's right. Okay. We were like it says in Baruch three and eight, we're subject to payments. Okay, literally to the devil. Okay. All right. And, and we actually owe our lives to Yahweh by Shem Yeah. Okay. That's why the wage of sin is death, but the gift of life is eternal through Hamashiach Awashai. So it's vain to put our trust in, in men, like it says in Jeremiah the seventeenth chapter, over the man of war, Abba Yahweh, and get and, and, and be accursed within that 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 faith in men. Because either because it's a terrible thing to fall within the hands of, of, of the living power. Yes, which right. in the Hebrew the ten chapter, especially when it's thermonuclear fire radiation raining down upon this place. There's mushroom cloud in Isaiah the thirty fourth chapter and so forth. Okay, uh, 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 the man of sin is son of perdition was not going to be able to save you, save us from this, man. Yes. So we're going to need we're going to need a uh, 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 divine intervention at that time. It's only going to come from above, man. That's right. Okay, so this is Proverbs twenty six and uh, twenty six, whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation. So this devil was, uh, 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 you know, that was that was that was uh, bragging about, you know, America's military and, and how, you know, uh, you know, America's military backs a petrodollar and so forth and so on. You know, uh, he's 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 bragging over the strength of these Edomites, man. Dude, and that's to uh, Esau's blessing the sword, man. Mm -hmm. But that sword, okay, is not going to save you from the sword of Hamashiach and Hamashiach, okay? Because that's not even going to be a fight within his last world's war, okay? Uh, when you when you go to fight Yahweh Shai in the battle of Armageddon one at the at the aftermath of it, okay, you know uh, 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 of the aftermath of it in Revelation the twelfth chapter of that battle that war between the worlds, okay, all right, your sword is going to be a uh, uh, minuscule man, okay, because because the sword of of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai is not a, is not an actual sword, it's it's concentrated heat, it's going to scorch your ass man. So what are you going to what, what what are you going to do with your 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 space force against that, and your fighter jets? Your F-35 and shit. You're gonna be confounded, man. To fucking death. Yeah, and we're right. gonna laugh. They're gonna fucking laugh at your ass. Ain't it chariots where you're gonna be burned to death, man? That's right. Yeah, and a lot of rats we were just talking about yesterday. A lot of rats we get to contribute into the to the, into the uh, destruction of Edomites along with our Lord. I'm a lot. Okay. Ooh, There's no yes. greater honor than that, man. To, yes. to fight along alongside our King. I'm a lot against, uh, 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 against you devils, man. Watch That's you right. devils die in this last world's war, man. So we don't believe in your lies because we know that you have an end. Your rulership has an end because your counsel is of Satan and it's against Heavenly Father. And that's, that's why it's going to fail like it says in Acts of fifth chapter. So this is Proverbs 26 and 27. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein. And he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. See? That's why it says in the second Ezra, it's like in, uh, Revelation 16 chapter, how the Heavenly Father, you know, gave you, you know, basically bless you devils, you know, with the miracles to create your, your atomic bombs and so forth. Okay, like, you know, through splitting the atom and so forth, like, you know, J.P. Opp Oppenheimer saying, oh, well, I've become death, you know, during the Manhattan Project. Your military equipment is not going to save you from the, the onslaught uh, that you're going to receive at the hands of your creator, your maker, Hamashiach and Havashai. Okay? That's right. On behalf of Abba Nawi Yahweh. And that, and that day is coming sooner than you think. It could happen this year. Yeah. Hell, it could happen next month. Oh, it reminds me, like, we're going to last camp. We, uh, how should I say, uh, uh, think, uh, he said, uh, what's we to say, uh, pray, to, pray that your flight not come to winter. All right? And that, and, and, and that, that was around the time of February, man. Yeah. So we could be out of here by Passover, man. Yeah. You know, it's not far-fetched, man. This thing could pop up before the summer. Just like that. 
And that's why we're supposed to hasten the day of the coming of our, of our Lord, Hamashiach Ahavashai, man. Like it says in Peter, 2 Peter, the third chapter, man. All right, because we, 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 it's very urgent, it's, it's, you know, to, to remain here. Okay, because nothing but death from everywhere. Yeah. Okay, right. and, and ultimately that death is coming upon the Edomites. That's right. Right. The goddamn and disease and earth is going to be distinguished. That's right. And you, Jakes, you better be prepared, okay? Jacob's trouble is for the whole entire tribe of Israel, all 12, okay? Now, right now, when, when, that, when that kicks off, because Yahweh Yahu Shai Masha said, well, he comes as a thief at night, you put that spirit in Esau to come to what? Start kicking your door down, start sending those, robot, those robots after us. That's right. Okay? And you're not prepared, none of you. You sit down here, dug on, sit down here, dug on, crunching your nuts and sitting there watching, watching grab ass on TV. Ill prepared to the fact that these, these people are actually planning your divine demise. Okay? So, Lord willing, you edify today, bringing all the, the, the short camp out here, um, you know, because we wanted to address that I do mean. I came on and said, hey, America can't be destroyed, but we brought it out in the scriptures. Okay? It's going to be destroyed or obliterated. Okay? And we get to actually participate inside that, Lord willing. Okay? We have, we have to hopefully lack. Okay? So, with that, we're going to close, we're going to close, we're going to turn to the east. Give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Kakudash. Double honor to the teachers, elders, and apostles of great millstone, and also to you brothers out there putting on this true faith and the fantasy feeding the sheep. And to you brothers and sisters that are tuning in. Shalom, DTA, Baba Ba, Sue. Very soon. Real soon.